Hello friends. Welcome to the next tutorial of this module. Today, in this module, we will talk about how we can perform file inclusion vulnerability in our testing environment. So, first of all, let's change our security to low and open file inclusion. As you can see over here, that there are three files, file 1, 2 and 3. If I click on file 1, a message appears like this and as you can observe over here that it is a get based request and file1.php has been displayed over here. Now let's go back and click on file2. So over here you can see the file1 has been changed to file2. Similar is the case with file3. Now let's click on file1 and check for local file inclusion vulnerability. So now if I'll click, if I'll type dot dot slash and hit enter, dot dot slash will take us to the previous directory. And over here, it is showing the path of the file. Over here, right now, I am at this place. So, if I'll do dot dot slash again and type php dot ini, so it should provide me the details of this file in the dvwa folder. As you can see over here, we are able to read the file and the message has been displayed over here. Let's verify this file in our directory. Let's go to XAMPP DVWA. So we are in XAMPP HTDocs DVWA and over here, here is this file. Let's open this file. And over here you can see the messages. This file attempts to override the original PHP file and over here also, we have the same message. This file attempts to override the original PHP file. So, we hereby confirm that we have successfully performed LFI vulnerability. Now, let's check remote file inclusion. For that, we need to inject a payload over here that will redirect us to some website link. Let's type bing.com at voila as you can see over here we have been redirected to bing.com and this is our dvwa lab now let's change our security to medium and let's check the same now let's try injecting the last payload which we did in rfi that was https colon double slash over here, it is giving us an error, so we won't be able to execute this payload. Now, let's check the view source so that we can understand what function has been used in the background which is blocking or sanitizing our payload. As you can see over here that they are using str underscore replace command and what this function is doing, it is replacing the http dot dot slash and https dot dot slash and converting it into a blank space. We saw this similar case in XSS vulnerability. Now, as it is written only HTTPS, now let's change PNS and make them capital like this and check if our command is running or not. And yes, we have been able to bypass medium level security as well. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial.